Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, SMW Outdoor Fishing Adventure. Uh, another day on the water today. Um, I'm fishing just a totally brand new lake here. It's called Sporley Lake. Um, again, I never fished it before. Uh, my understanding, it's uh, pretty much a smallmouth lake um, and also trout. I believe they have brown trout in here, rainbow and splake. Of course, those aren't my tar targeted fish, whether I'm going to catch one or not. Probably not because they have a tendency to stay deep. Um, so hopefully we can put some... Uh, uh, smallmouth in the yak. So uh, I'm all ready to push off, so uh, we'll see you out there in a bit. Up here a little further. Seems like the current or the the wind is pushing me back west. Wind's out of the east today. So I'm going to get up this little area in here. Pretty nice boathouse over there. All right, let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> There's a bunch of uh, uh, what do you call it in the water?
I heard a couple surface so that I know there's fish in here. Yeah, the information I uh, I read up on this lake last night it was uh, <clears throat> loaded loaded in here with smallmouth. There we go. There we go, people. Make sure I don't get them. Large mouth. I didn't think there's large mouth in here. Nice little fish. Nice little fish. Thank guy. Thank you, guy. Kind of did what I thought they were going to do, which I didn't know there was a largemouth in here. I don't know, these uh, Booyah, I don't know if I can say that because of copyright, but Booyah, um, I think they're called the Pond Series. Let me show you. They're just quarter ounce. has a Willow Blade and a Colorado Blade, and I just topped it off with a Jerky J. Um, I felt the Jerky J was a little too long for the spinner bait, so I cut off the head. And, yeah, so that's the setup there. Yeah, it was, uh, he sucked that in pretty good. Well, I'm going to get us back out here because I want to run that shoreline where I caught this one again. <clears throat> I should basically, too, tell you these dates of these, uh, videos. This one was, uh, this was the, the 3rd of July, or June, I'm sorry. Well, I knew I could catch fish, people, it was just a matter of time. Sometimes I tend to put too much pressure on myself. <clears throat> that fish is probably a pound and a half. Nice tournament fish.
I should have marked that on the waypoint. So that tells me a couple things. Maybe, um, those smallmouth could be deeper, possibly. Nope, they got to plan on a full day of fishing, so. And it's not supposed to rain, and it's not supposed to be too windy. Looks like I got to turn us around again. Like I said, I put this motor back on, but it's too fast. Next year I'll have a bigger kayak, so it's probably going to work perfect. Some, some pretty fancy kayaks out there for fishing, but I guess you got to start somewhere. Plus, this is a good, <laughs> a good way to lose some weight. I want to hit this structure right here. You can see it in there. Oh, I think it's a snag. Yep, snag. Got to get over and that, get that out. Kind of knew maybe that was going to happen. I'll get it out. right there again there we go seems like um when you get hung up you uh get hung up in between um like those little crotches in a tree push off this log Uh, the guy that I, I talk to every now and then that uh, runs our uh, club tournaments, he, uh, I don't know if he's tried his, because I kind of hit him up with um, kind of baits. It's basically, uh, I didn't fish those three tournaments. One, uh, Memorial Day weekend, and um, and it was actually three hours away, and it was supposed to be very windy. Sorry, but I'm not going to fish tournaments like that. It's just too windy. 
and uh, those other two are just terrible weather. Yeah, I didn't think there was, uh, to what I've read, I didn't think there was any, um, largemouth in here, but almost every lake there's largemouth. I think we're going to move up a little bit now. Keep moving. It's a big lake. Put my tournament jersey on today, and for a reason that, oh boy, it's so comfortable, and uh, it's supposed to get hot out today. And not to uh, sound like a broken record, too. These kayaks, when you buy them, it is packaged with the um, paddle, etc. Buy a new paddle right away. So I tried mine, it was junk. Because um, they have these trickle, water trickle things on here. I'm gonna show you that right there. And uh, it's so much stiffer, you can uh, get all alongside the boat further. Uh, and seat, I tried to add a pad seat, but wasn't working very good so I went and uh, we got going on here um, I got a throwable throwable life preserver and I have that on right now nice and comfortable It's kind of turning me here a little bit. All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm uh, taking the first cast of the day and see what it can do here today. It's pretty windy out again. I'm gonna have to get myself a little deeper here. Hopefully I'm still uh, getting out of that fishing slump that I've been in. Starting here off with a jig right up in the tree. I didn't think I would get uh, caught in trees anymore. <clears throat>
what I'm going to do here is see it's pretty windy I'm going to uh, put my anchor out probably going to be about the best set yet today I think my battery is dead on my <laughs> I just can't win sometimes with my electronics and that pretty sure my battery's dead on it it's a brand new battery and I don't know Well, this week I'm going to probably get a lot of fishing in because it's supposed to be in the, like in the uh, high 80s, which is really nice. I don't know why people, I didn't uh, um, put my rope cleat on my kayak. to turn myself around here, I think.
there are some people that <laughs> came in um, when I came up to the boat landing to put my boat in or my kayak in. They didn't have no clothes on, just their under, undergarments. And I really don't know if I got the correct setup either. Um, guy I talked to that's the head of the kayak club who heads all the tournaments. Um, I talked to him today and lots of swim baits and uh, wacky rigs. So I'm going to have to get more set up here. But I was kind of in a hurry to get out here today, so. It's kind of nice though with this anchor on here. It's just a little anchor, but it keeps you stable enough for Kind of waiting for a an important phone call, but I thought it was that. I was wrong. And I forgot to hook up my motor too. So I'm batting zero. Still getting used to all this. Plus the people at the, the boat landing, they weren't very respectful when I was trying to load. It's, um, this lake actually is off limits to swimming and that's what they're doing, they're swimming. I don't care if they're swimming, but they could at least respect people that are trying to put their boat in or kayak, whatever you have. Probably not going to have the greatest angle here um, until I get the other GoPro on. When I was uh, doing some re-rigging on here, I uh, I broke my brand new um, GoPro uh, setup.
The last time I was out, I talked to a guy here that lives on the lake, and he said they th he thinks he heard that there was some die-off on the lake this year. I'm going to switch up here, I think. <clears throat> See what happens with this tube bait. Today I decided to go with the 3000 series of the um, Ardent Arrow to maybe give me a little better luck. I'm just in a real bad fishing slump. I was gonna do that. I've seen that log there. Now, let's go get my jig. All right. 